All right, I'm making a short video on how to use this build from Schism. This is the current build I'm using that I'm actually putting on people's boxes because he can update it. I am not capable of updating my build. And I think this one personally is a lot better than my own. So when you first start it, this is what you see. This, you can just hit dismiss. So you got four sections. You got live TV on demand, which I wouldn't count on because it's very complicated setup and it always breaks. Kids zone, sports time, entertainment. Movies and TV shows, you go to entertainment. Sports time is all sports. Kids zone, obviously all kids movies and kids cartoons, stuff like that. So when I click on entertainment, this is what it looks like. So trailers, self-explain. If you want to look up trailers, you can do it that way. You don't even really have to use that. If you go down, there's track, which you probably don't have set up yet. My movies, that's anything that you would add to your library. And then you got movie section. So on movie section, these are all pretty much the latest movies. I'm sure there's some old ones mixed in there a little bit, but you can look either from that way or on movie sections. If you hit the left pad button, it gives you this list. So you can either search, you can go to recent movies, most popular. IMDB is like a place where people rate movies. You can go to classic movies, 3D movies. Now, right here it says Salt, Exodus, Phoenix. These are different add-ons that provide movies. So you can look through each individual one if you want. Really, Salt should have everything that everybody else has. So when I click on, let's say, Recent Movies, it brings you to this menu. And then you can click, these are all the different add-ons. I generally use Salt because I feel like it's the better one as a group. But all of these other add-ons are pretty good too. So when you click on Salt's recent movies, it takes you directly to the add-on and their recent movies. A lot of the two six, or 2016 ones are still in theater or not even in theater yet. Generally, that's going to be camera quality. So if I hit the back button, I did it three times. It takes me back to movies. Same concept when I hit left. I can also do like classic movies. So when I go down here to Exodus Movies, that is a separate add-on. It's supposed to be a really good add-on, same makers of Genesis, but they did away with Genesis. Now this is the new Genesis, basically. Same thing if you hit left, you can search just through their add-on, or you can go to popular watching, most popular. You can pick the genre, genre the year, box office, Oscar winner, winners in theaters, and you can pick by categories that way. Or you can just scroll through this to see quickly what they have. This always gets updated, so it shouldn't always be the same when a new movie comes out. Generally, it'll pop up here. Now, HD zone is supposed to be all HD, anywhere from 720p to 1080p. When you click left, you can actually search. These are different add-ons. You can search through different add-ons, but these are all add-ons that offer 1080p or 720p.
and actually some of these are one click links like kind of like nine movies right here so if I click on nine movies and then I pick let's say country United States movies so for shits and giggles let's click on ride along probably gonna be camera quality but we'll see You don't have to scroll through links on those ones. So if I'm on, I'm on HD and then I hit left again. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I think all these are one-click one links. I'm not 100% sure though. Actually, no, maybe not. So when I hit right, I can scroll through these movies. But this mixes a lot of old ones with sometimes new ones. So let's we'll go ahead and click on one and see what it does. Alright, so it looks like it's automatically going to play. When I hit left, though, it does not give you the option right here to actually search. But if you go into each individual add-on, then you can find the search feature. Uh, UK Turk new movies. All right. I don't think that link's actually working. Nope, not working. So I went down to the next one and this is what it shows. You could just click on 1080p movies if you want good quality, but you do have to have a good internet connection. Uh, you can choose by the year. When it says screener, that means it should be good quality. It's basically what they show people before they actually release it to the movie theaters. So if you keep going down this list, I backed out all the way to the main menu. If you keep going down this list, it has HD zone and HD releases. Generally, releases means it's a newer movie. Most of these look like they're newer movies. So if I go, like if I'm on HD releases and I click to the left, well, it does nothing. So let's say if I go to the movies and then I click on the left and I go to, we'll do most popular movies real quick. And then these are the different add-ons, Exodus, Salts, Genesis, but I wouldn't use Genesis. One, two, three movies. So I'm going to use Salts because I like Salts better than any of them. So let's say I wanted to watch a trailer for, let's say, Kung Fu Panda 3. I click, I hold down, and then I go to show info, information. And generally, it should have a trailer option. If it Sometimes it might not. So then I click on trailer. And it just shows me the trailer for it. Good time, good time, bad time. It's easier to do a movie search if you know what you're looking for, but if you don't, then you can always try like searching through the trailer section or 
searching directly through the add-ons. Then if you keep going down on the main menu, it has my TV shows, which is stuff that you add to your library. If you get set up with, with what's called track TV, it will track everything for you. It knows which episodes you watch, which ones you haven't. It makes life a little easier. So then you go down one more. It says TV shows. It's the same concept as movies. It shows TV shows right here. If you click to the right, you can go through this. But if you actually click left, you can go to individual add-ons. You can do like trending TV shows that show you pretty much the most popular or popular TV shows. Uh, recently updated, which I never use. Classic TV shows. I can't say I've ever used that, so let's click on that. Oh, it's trying to pull it from UK Turk list. I think UK Turk is no longer going to be available. I'm not sure. So hopefully that ends up maybe fixing if he's going to keep updating his add on. If not, we're pretty much screwed. So you go to highest rated, you can go to search. Once again, if you click on search, it's going to ask you to search which add-on. I always search salt, especially for TV shows, because then you can easily add them to your library. So let's look for, let's say, Family Guy, even though I already have it in my library. So when I want to add the show to my library, I click and I hold down that little middle button and it gives me this menu. I go to add library. So when I add it to my library, I'm going to back out and go to the main, main page. And if I go to my TV shows, it should be in there. When it's not in there, it means that you have to hit the lock button on, on my TV show and then you update video library. If you don't do that, it might not show in your library until you update your video library. So like I said, TV shows, same concept. If you hit left, you can search through individual add-ons. But when it comes to TV shows, I definitely highly recommend you use salts only, so that way you can add them to your library. So anything in my library, when I, technically when I watch it, it should show a little green check mark and show me which ones I've already watched. Sometimes it does not. Here soon I'll try to make a video on each individual part instead of adding it all into one video like I'm doing right now. I'll just make a bunch of short videos and make it easier for you to find basically what you're trying to do. So right now I'm going to fast forward pretty much to the end. I'm going to get it to try to recognize that I've watched this. Oh, I just screwed it up.
Oh, it did, it did pop up there. It shows a green check mark. And this is not the TV show. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was, but it was not the TV show, friends. So anyway, you see the green check mark. You can see these. So mine's actually showing up. Yours might not, but I am on track instead of just library. So that's why mine shows up. Yours, unfortunately, probably will not. So if you hold down that middle button after you watch the TV show, you can actually mark it as watched manually right there. <clears throat> when I set you up with track, it should pretty much automatically check mark it for you. So right here it shows Exodus TV shows, TNPB TV shows. When I go and actually click on these, I don't believe it. It might let you watch it. Maybe that's an add-on. Yeah, it's pulling it from actually Phoenix. All right, so that does work. But Exodus and TNPB is two different add-ons. So if you look like do it, like I said, TV shows right here, and you click left, you can pull it up by these, or you can go to those add-ons specifically. But there's more TV add-ons that you could actually use, and these would be them. So like HP TV shows, I'm not really sure what that one is. I've never used that one before. But you might find a TV show like on this menu that you might actually want to watch. Generally I'll click on it and then I'll go through the TV shows because you can actually watch sometimes trailers on them. So like right now, I could watch this trailer just by clicking and holding down that little round button. Little baby bomb. I have a feeling this is not the show. Maybe it is. Uh, no, actually, it's three, three. <laughs> so apparently that doesn't always work. <laughs> that was an actual movie. I don't know why I just did that. So sometimes if you try to watch a trailer, maybe it won't pull up the trailer. <laughs> that was actually really weird. So anyway, most popular, it was self-explanatory. It's most popular TV shows. Watch TV series is another add-on. You can get TV shows from them. Uh, I don't think you can actually add them to your library, so I wouldn't really necessarily use it. You can only add to your favorites. So you can always, if you can't find a TV show, you can look in TV series, and it might actually pull up in there. And if you add it to your favorites, your favorites is actually down here to... At the, towards the bottom, favorites with the star. So anything I would have in my favorites would be right there. Uh, so this pops up every once in a while. All you have to do is hit OK. I'm not sure why this pops up. Hopefully I can figure that out and stop it from doing that. So RL series is another place where you can go and get TV shows. Uh, collection. Now collection is under like my track account. Or no, I'm sorry. Collections is actually under a different add-on. But they have stuff like new release, HD releases to like if you're looking for like a Marvel movie or a Batman series. So if I click on, let's say, Batman, it should pull up all the Batmans. So 
So these are basically just collections, kind of like Marvel. They have a bunch of different movies. Mickey Mouse, the Disney collection, actually. So if you're looking for a kid-friendly show, that would be it. Uh, they even have fitness. It's a good section to check out. Uh, RT Live, I added this one myself. I'm a big RT fan, especially Redacted Tonight. There's no better show out there than Redacted Tonight. So then you got Her Place. Her Place is generally supposed to be female movies, like love movies, stuff like that. But I noticed they actually mix different things in here with it. So it's not always hers. I added his place, but I won't go on that section because there might be a kid watching. <laughs> on demand, I'm not really 100% sure what this is. Uh, looks like live, you can pull up live, I don't know, it doesn't give nothing really good for live. You can pull up category, search, most popular. I usually don't mess with this one because I don't know where they're getting their videos and what it's about, but they look like YouTube videos. And then the rest is just your favorites, obviously, and then system settings, add-ons. Really, this stuff you shouldn't have to mess with too much. And then log off is how you go to the sports section. So right now I'm going to hit log off. And then it takes me back to this section. So if I want to watch sports, I would just go down to sports. If I wanted to watch Kids Zone, look at Kids Zone, which we'll check out real fast. All right, right here is tracked. It's trying to get me to authorize it. Right now I'm going to say, remind me later. I do have an account with them. If you go to HTTP, whatever, whatever, track.tv, you can actually set up an account. I will help you do all that. It's worth doing. I've been using it. It seems pretty good right now. All right, so they got Disney. If I hit left, I can actually search through right, like this right here. My kids, I believe, is like stuff that you know. It's going to say stuff that you have in your library, but apparently it's not. TMPB Kids, that's just another add on. They're pulling it from that add on. Animated movies. Uh, it's trying to pull it from UK Turk, and apparently UK Turk is not working, like I said. Cartoon Crazy, it's a good source for cartoons. Uh, looks like these are, no, actually Two Stupid Dogs not a movie. So it just mixes a bunch of different stuff in there, whether it's movies or shows. Classic Cartoons, UK Turk, they're trying to pull it from again. Hopefully they fix that add-on. Cartoon HD, I'm not sure what this one's about. So if I go over here, it says search. Kids latest, kids popular. I'll click on one to see, verify it works. It does not work. Cartoon, cartoon HD error is what it's showing. That add-on usually did not really work for me. Hopefully this guy that created this build might update that soon. Uh, you got Toon Mania. Shows a whole lot of different stuff. Shows movies to, uh, I'm sure even TV, uh, kids shows. Like series. Looks like mostly movies. Cartoons 8 is another source for good cartoons. A lot of anime cartoons, but obviously they have Minions, which is not any, uh, animated. Or anime, I should say. 
super cartoons. Is like classic cartoons, I believe. Pretty much mostly is it be classic cartoons. Funnier moments is actually older cartoons. And that's about it for that section. Sports. There's iView TV, which I would not really click on so much. The live TV PVR, unless you pay for like IPTV, this ain't really going to work. But if you go to like sports movies, it's just going to show you movies that's generally about sports. Baseball movies. There's a lot of baseball movies. Sports Devil is a place where you can watch live sports. It's not a bad place to go, but there is actually better places. So if you search through these links, you can find them. Castaway is the same thing, kind of as Sports Devil, but a little bit better. I always go to Pro Sports, which if you go down more, here's Pro Sports. This is the one I would use for NFL, NHL, NBA. <clears throat> you also have Archive, but it doesn't update to doesn't update that quick. Archive means you can watch it after it's already aired. Mama HD, I'm not sure what that is. I've never seen that. These are actually live channels, it looks like. For like NFL Network. If I click on it, maybe it'll work. Which obviously NFL is out of season right now, so might not, who knows. Nope. But these BT sports, like Sky Sports, those usually work. Sky Sports usually shows like racing, I think. But there he goes, caught up. I'm not a soccer fan, but obviously this one has to do with soccer. So we'll click on Money Sports is another good one. P2P sports, I would not count on using. That, is, that can get you in trouble. They pull it from torrents, which you should never stream from a torrent because your internet provider will shut your internet off. So you got live sports 24-7. And that's basically how you would find games. Generally, they'll say next to them what the game is. So I don't know what F4M tester is, but it says you must use this add-on. I'm not going to download it because I don't know what it is. I would have to do research on it to make sure it's not a torrent streaming site. Premium Sports Pass is something that you actually have to pay for. You have to have an account to set it up. And actually, this looks like more like just it'll be all soccer stuff from overseas. So, Castaway, you can click on live sports. They even have a live TV section, the P2P, which I would not use. Sports on demand, I believe it's just like an archive. So, we'll do like hockey, full replays and highlights. Aki Torrents, the word Torrents, you definitely don't want to use. So this is probably like an old game. And it's only showing highlights, not the actual game. 
So that's generally how you use this build. It's actually fairly easy. It is personally a lot better than the one I I built myself because it's it's a little more updated. The guy will update it. It's it'll update it eventually to take away UK Turks if that's no longer gonna work. Because whenever an add-on goes down, I would have to show up to somebody's house, and that makes my life a lot harder, generally. So eventually the whole build could break. This guy is known for updating his fairly quick. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I will try to make more videos on specific items to make life a little easier for you.